Hello, today I will show you some uh, basic requirements of firefighting and fire resisting construction, so called FRC uh, major. Um, I will show you some basic uh, objective and uh, what is special separation between yours, separation between occupants, and protection between force. Okay, um, you need to understand the so called the FRC. Normally, we need to maintain the integrity of the fire during fire. That means, in case of the fire, the building will not be collapsed, and the people can suffocate uh, times to escape from the building. That means, sometimes we need to have a fire separation and the protection of the building against fire. And the first one, you need to make sure the complementation. That means the area, so the volume of the building should not be too large. For example, if you are as the storage, uh, like this one industrial story, the area should not be larger than uh, 10,500 and the fire resistant period, that means the fire protection should be have 120 meters, mi minutes, that means 2 hours. That means if you design a building something like in the industrial workshop, you need to make sure the size uh, should not be larger than this. If you want the area larger than this, you need to provide the uh, fire barriers to separate between two areas and the fire resisting waiting should be two hours and other thing is uh, so called the uh, requirements for the protection up against the adjacent building normally we call the adjoining building is between 1.8 meters that means if the building is uh, less than this one we call this is adjoining buildings that means uh, you can imagine if two buildings is too close we need to have a fire resisting uh, waiting uh, protection that means there is a fire protection of the wall you can see the red the blue one is the highlighted requirement at least 900 from the adjoining buildings if you have a fixed night so also we have a, a protection you can see that's that's the night having the FR out, so called fire resisting, uh, fire resistant resist waiting it should not be less than this one. And this is the blue one. You can imagine uh, 1.8 meters should be protected in order not to allow the fire to go to another building. And if this is not the building, just near the another site, this is a 900 requirement, and this is another requirement. And sometimes you need to separate between different use. For example, uh, they have a uh, different class of use. You need to have a uh, uh, separation. But sometimes the so-called small storage area they don't need this one. And sometimes you need to make sure the occupancy. Sometimes they are different. They also need to provide the so-called uh, uh, fire protection. But some areas like the retail shop with good management and the uh, office should not have this one and also in order to don't reduce the chance of the fire go to the upper floor we also need to protect the floor between maybe you need to have a vertical barrier not less than 450 to reduce the chance of the fire go in go to the upper floor and this is a so-called uh, if the stand stand is more than 450 you also need to provide the so-called spinker in order to protect the uh, fire, protect from fire. Also, sometimes you need to provide uh, 900 and in here or the 500 for projection to prevent the fire go from the lower floor to the upper floor. This is the basic requirement. Thank you.